The streets were slick with rain as I navigated my way through the maze of alleys and side streets, my headlights cutting through the darkness like a lighthouse beacon. I had been working as a food delivery driver for years, but nothing could have prepared me for the horror that awaited me on that fateful night. As I pulled up to the address on the delivery ticket, a sense of unease settled over me. The house stood before me, its windows dark and menacing against the backdrop of the stormy sky. I hesitated for a moment, the hairs on the back of my neck standing on end as a chill ran down my spine. But duty called, and I pushed aside my apprehensions as I made my way up the front steps. The scent of rain and wet pavement met with the mesmerizing aroma of the food I carried in my hand. I knocked on the door, scrolling on my phone as I waited for a response. The door swung open with a creak, revealing an old woman standing in the shadows, a figure bent with age, her eyes dark and mysterious. She invited me inside with a crooked finger, her voice soft and hypnotic as she thanked me for the delivery. As I stepped into the dimly lit home, a wave of dizziness washed over me, the air thick with a nauseating scent of decay and despair. I tried to shake off the feeling as I handed the woman the food, my hands trembling with fear and anxiety. But as she reached out to take the bag from me, she blew something in my face, a cloud of noxious fumes that repelled me backwards, my eyes burning with blurry vision and head spinning. I tried to fight back to push her away, but it was no use. The darkness closed in around me like a suffocating blanket, choking the life out of what consciousness I had left. With a last surge of strength, I stumbled towards the door, my vision blurred and my limbs heavy with exhaustion. I managed to make it outside, where I collapsed on the doorstep, gasping for breath as the world spun around me in dizzying circles. But as the darkness threatened to consume me, a spark of determination, or maybe it was adrenaline, flared within my heart. With trembling hands, I managed to drag myself to my feet, staggering towards my car with a determination born of desperation. With fumbling fingers, I somehow managed to get my keys, the world swimming in and out of focus as I struggled to unlock the door. But at last, I managed to climb inside, slamming the door shut behind me and locking it hurriedly. With the last of my strength, I reached for my phone, calling 911 with fingers that felt like lead. I could hear the sound of sirens in the distance, growing louder with each passing moment, a signal of hope in the darkness that threatened to consume me whole. And then, just when all hope seemed lost, the police arrived, their lights flashing like beacons in the night. They found me slumped over the steering wheel, my breath coming in ragged gasps as I fought to stay conscious. With gentle hands, they helped me out of the car, leading me to safety as they searched the house for the woman who had tried to claim me as her own. And when they found her, they discovered the truth. She was a kidnapper, a predator who lured her unsuspecting victims by ordering food, only to trap the delivery driver. As they led her away in handcuffs, I felt a sense of relief wash over me, a feeling of victory in the face of unspeakable evil. The darkness had been defeated, it's all over, and I was free, free to live another day.